So what we want to build is a drag and drop form similar to what we have here in this sketch. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a route that will render the form. So I'll do route get media slash create and we'll pass a closure that will return an inertia view. Let's say create media. Then I will go to resources, JS, pages and duplicate this dashboard component. Let's now view this in the browser. I'll authenticate and go to media slash create and start by changing the heading to add new media and remove this part right here. If we go back to the sketch, we can start laying down the form structure. We'll have a container, an SVG icon that I'll paste in, a P tag for drop files to upload, another one for OR, and the select files button that will actually be a label wrapping a file input. And we can hide this with SR only. And here we'll have select files. Finally, we need another P tag for the maximum upload file size. Now that we have the HTML structure in place, we can focus on styling it. We'll start with the container and move down from there. We'll go here and say class and we'll make this a vertical flex. We'll then add a border and let's make this thicker and say dashed border gray 400 and let's make it rounded. Now let's go on the SVG and make it a bit smaller using class with 12, H12. And to set the color, we'll do text gray 500. And we can also add some padding using PX6, PY12. And to center the items, we can do items center. Let's move down to the drop files text and we'll do class text Excel. We'll leave the OR as it is and focus on the label. We'll do BG white, PX4, H9. And to align the text, we can do inline flex item center. And let's make this rounded, give it a border. and a bit of shadow. And for the text, we can do text SM, font medium, text gray 700. Moving down to the maximum upload file size, we can do class text access, text gray 700, let's say 600 empty four. I would also like to have some focus styles for the button. So we'll do ring two, ring offset two, and ring indigo 500. And to apply these on focus, we can do focus within. And now if I click it, here it is. Let's make this text a bit lighter and add some margin between the button and the OR, and then move on to other things. I'll do class MB2, and here we'll do text gray 800, and same for the OR. Now usually drag and drop forms offer some kind of visual cue whenever the user drags files over the form area. In our case we could turn this gray border into indigo when that happens. To do that we can listen to the drag over and drag leave events 
toggle a data model and use that to style the form. So we can do drag over and set dragging to true and drag leave to set dragging to false. Let's add dragging to our data and the initial value will be false. And now we can use it to style the border. If dragging, then border indigo 500, otherwise border gray 400. And let's also add the default styles without the border gray. Now, if I pick a file and drag it over, the border changes its color.